it's uh so we turn around to the light that's it it fits on there absolutely airtight i had to cut the stainless steel around here and anyone who's cut stainless steel with an angle grinder will know it's not easy but so don't fit back on the camera. And all these pieces, the, uh, this was £2.50, this biscuit here. The inner is uh, for nothing. And, uh, I should put a couple of um, spacer feet in there so it doesn't drop down. I don't think it will drop down, but just in case, I've got a couple of spacer bolts on it. such a snug fit in there as you can see all the way around there it's such a snug fit that it's not going anywhere there's the inside there's the burner and um, if I follow the instructions and like red upright this should work if it doesn't I shall be so disappointed I'll have a nice mantelpiece ornament but not a very good uh, gasifier stove but we'll find out later on And there it is. I'll try and get you a better shot of it. So hopefully it won't roll about. Here you are. One gasifier stove. Built for exactly £2.99. Whole lot. £2.99. And it's all stainless steel. Even the insert inside is some um, uh, stainless as well, as you can see. It's got the, the grain in on it. It's uh, a biscuit, that's a biscuit tin as well. It's two biscuit tins. Well, I've lit it, and I don't know whether you can see it, but it actually is gasifying out of the holes at the top. It's a bit windy, but but um. Uh, it was working so wow that's really cool it's um uh, you have to light it from the top so it's not behaving exactly how i expected but um uh, I'll, I'll give it a little time to see if it picks up again but it was actually shooting the flames out of the little holes at the top so you can see the gas is rising out of the holes at the side it's not um uh, it's only it's just started to do that but it's um uh, it's burning out hey, it's really starting to rocket now it's just oh, i'm really pleased with it it's burning from the bottom obviously because the gas is rising out the side and uh all it's going to take you tomorrow is a couple of um is a place to fit the stand around the uh, edge and i can uh, drill a couple of holes in the flange that's sticking out the top there. there's about a quarter of an inch of meat there and uh, I should be able to drill four holes and uh, stick a couple of um, skewers through and make like a trivet on top that should be good you can see it's working really well now the the gas is rising and it's coming out of the holes and it's uh, burning really well oh it's better than I, I could uh, expect and you can get a lot of fuel in there I'm going to let it burn down now because uh, my wife's bullying me, she wants me to go and do something with her. So I've, uh, she who must be obeyed is going to be obeyed. But never mind, here we are. One gasifier stove, 
and it works absolutely brilliantly. It really does. Look at that. Oh, it, this is picking it up because it'll be all for nothing. It's not. But is that not cool or what? And there it is. It's made out of a stainless steel biscuit barrel and uh, a stainless steel biscuit tin. A uh, few holes, the right thing, and wow, does it go. Wow, I can't believe how that's going like that. Wow, look at that. And it all comes apart for cleaning, so you don't have to worry about it ashing up or anything like that. And it's dead easy to take apart. And, uh, oh, look. That. Is that not... Look at that. And you can see it coming out the sides. So the gas holes are working really good. And the more fuel you put in there, the better it's going to be. Well, I only put a little bit in to just to, to test it, basically. But right, it's looking cool. Brilliant. Zero heads. Thanks for watching.